Hello everyone, I'm Rashmi here. In this video, I'm going to talk about foes. What does a foes mean? Foes means push and pull of an object. This is the card. This boy is pulling and this boy is pushing. That means the push and pull in this case are uh, happening in the same direction and the cart is moving. In this picture, the car is standing here and the boy is also standing here. Car is not moving and the motion of the car is not happening. And in this case, the boy is uh, pushing the car and the car starts moving. That means the change in the motion of an object and the force has happened here. In this diagram, we are seeing the tug of war in between the two teams. See, this is the balanced force we can say. This team is also applying the equal force uh, and the same and the other team is also applying the same force and the object is not moving. If we add one more person here and the strength of this team is increased, then this object will be moving to this side. That means force means each Actions usually results in some kind of change in the state of motion of an object. Types of forces. Forces are of two types, contact forces and non-contact forces. Contact forces, a force that changes the motion of an object by touching it is called contact force. Non-contact force, it acts when there is no physical contact in between the objects. Contact forces are muscular force, frictional force, normal force, tension force, spring force. Non-contact forces are magnetic force, electrostatic force, gravitational force. Muscular force. The forces resulting due to action of muscles are known as muscular force. In this diagram, two men are applying force on a box. The forces are applied in the same direction. The net force in this case is the sum of two forces and the object starts moving. Friction force. When a body is moving, then a force equal and opposite to the direction of motion in, is exerted on the moving body. This force is called force of friction. In this case, the person is moving the object and the opposite force is also acting on it. The force exerted by the man is more than the, the opposite force. That's why it starts moving. This is a normal force. This object is placed on the table. This object is uh, creating, is exerting the force on the table and the table also exerts the equal force on the object. That's why the object is lying on the table. This is the example of tension force. It is the force transmitted through a strong rope or cable wire when it is tightly pulled by. In this case, the object is tight with the string and here the tension is created. This is a picture of spring force. It is the force exerted by a compressed stressed spring upon any object. This is the, here the force is exerted on this object. Non-contact force, magnetic force. The force exerted by a magnet on other magnet or some other magnetic substances like iron is called magnetic force. In this diagram, we have taken two magnets, north and south, north and south, and poles, we are kept opposite to each other, south and north. That means they are attracting each other. And in this, both the poles are same and it is repelling each other. This is an example of electrostatic force. The force exerted, exerted by a charged body on other charged or uncharged body is called electrostatic force. In this, foam and papers are there. 
comb we just apply on our hair or rub it on the piece of paper it is electrically charged and the papers are not charged if we uh, bring the comb near to papers it attracts the papers towards it this is the example of gravitational force we know earth pulls everything or body towards it the force of attraction at exerted by earth on any object is called is called force of gravity in this uh, picture the uh, apple is falling from the tree earth is pulling the apple towards it this is gravitational force if you have any doubts or clarifications feel free to contact me via my email thank you everyone